Hello there, this is your host Austin Yang with yet another edition of your favorite transportation program on television. On the Lagos transportation agenda, we highlight topical issues as well as current and emerging trends and events in the dynamic world of transportation. We are coming to you from the Radisson Hotel, Ikeja, Lagos, where the maiden edition of the Nigerian Automotive Industry Summit was held. The summit is a joint collaboration between the Nigerian Auto Journalist Association, NAJA, and the National Automotive Design and Development Council, or NAWDC. The summit, whose theme is reviving the Nigerian economy through the automotive industry, was graced by leading stakeholders in the automotive ecosystem, such as the Director General of the NAWDC, Mr. Joseph Osanipi, as well as representatives from the Lagos State Government and other governments around the Federation, the Nigerian Customs Service, and other leading associations in the industry. Great economies are built on good transportation network. This is why Lagos State Government through LAMATA has been working tirelessly to enhance the state's transport infrastructure and implement the Strategic Transport Master Plan, STMP, for Lagos and create a world-class transport network for the metropolis. The STMP would deliver six rail lines, one monorail, 14 BRT routes, 26 water transport routes, three cable car routes, and several road interventions to promote the inter of the transport modes. When all these projects are completed, there will be lower emission, leading to better health for all, lower road crashes, better quality of life, and faster economic growth. With the BRT already running in some corridors, jetties being upgraded and rail line from Okokomaiko to CMS coming on board soon. Life of Logosians and the face of Lagos is changing every day. A healthier and more prosperous Lagos is in the making, and La Mata is driving it. La Mata, keeping Lagos moving. In his opening remarks of welcome, the chairman of NAJA, Mr. Mike Ochoma, described the summit as a platform to bridge the gap between stakeholders and position Nigeria as a hub for manufacturing in Africa, as well as for the opportunities that are being presented by the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, or AFTA. The Nigeria Automotive Industry Summit, NAISU for short, is a vision and initiated to add value into the Nigeria automotive industry. The medal edition of NISO holding today in the cosmopolitan city of Lagos has the team reviving Nigeria's automotive industry through the automotive sector. Initiating this summit is vital, especially at this moment in history when Nigeria is struggling to map out its way out of the prevailing global economic despair. Being one of the drivers of the global economy. The auto industry, if given the necessary impetus in Nigeria, is capable of transforming the country to an automotive manufacturing hub in Africa. To this end, the Nigeria Auto Industry Summit shall annually produce significant information compost that would help the government to make it happen. That is why the maiden event is themed reviving Nigeria's, uh, Nigeria's economy through the automotive sector. Significantly, the summit shall on yearly basis seek to bridge the information and communication gap between the nation's auto industry stakeholders and relevant government agencies annually. The Director General of the Nigerian Automotive Design and Development Council, NADDC, Mr. Joseph Osanipi, described the Nigerian automotive industry as a theater of unending opportunities and potentials. However, he lamented that it is hampered by a number of factors, including the refusal of the average Nigerian to appreciate locally made products. I am proud to be part of this great occasion, the Nigerian Automotive Industry Summit. organized by the NAJA. NAJA is Nigeria Auto Journalist Association. The summit presents a critical platform for us to come together, discuss the current state of Nigeria Auto Industry, and chart a new call for the situation. The theme of the, the, the summit is apt 
developing Nigeria economy through auto industry. We all know the critical role auto industry plays in any economy. Africa in Africa and in the Western world. The Nigerian automotive industry holds immense, immense potential with a growing population and a rising demand for safe, safety, reliable and affordable vehicles. The opportunities are vast. However, we also face significant challenges. We have to understand the challenges we face, but we are so sure and we are happy that the potentials are far, far more. What are the challenges and where are we? Where are we going to? We need to borrow leave from other countries and see how they have surmounted their own challenges. We look at some of the ones we have. I'm sure you will agree that one of the most pressing concerns in our reliance is our reliance on imported vehicles. It's a great concern to us. It's a great concern to government. We are so dependent on imported vehicles. No country depend on imported vehicles and grow the economy. If you look at the greatest economy worldwide, you go to Europe, you look for Germany. <coughs> talk of America, talk of Japan, talk of India, even Brazil, China, all these companies, all these countries grow their economy through auto development of automotive sector. And let's come back home to Africa. South Africa, Morocco, they all grow their economy majorly through development of auto industry. Let's look at Morocco for example. In 2013, when we started our own NLDP, Morocco also started. And in that 2013, Morocco exported 23,000 units of motor vehicle. In 2023, can we guess the number of vehicles they exported? 460,000 from 23,000. This was achieved in 10 years. We started our NIDP in 2013. Today, we are not exporting. We, are, we keep on importing. Importing, 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 importing. We want the trend to change because we are talking about the economy of Nigeria. <coughs> and we have all the stakeholders here. And what we always say to the stakeholders let's start from our basic, let's understand our reality and face our reality and start from that reality and start taking steps forward. We are going, the, the, the interest is going to be doomed, sorry, if we refuse to take that step forward. If we did stay somewhere and we think we are staying stagnant, you can't be stagnant because technology and we progress and then before you know it, you are moving backward. So that's why I said the, the team is apt developing the entire economy through auto because the economy is developing fast and the economy is being diversified so that we do not rely more on uh, oil and gas. So if the economy is, is being diversified and we refuse to take those steps, we will not grow. We started with SKT. I learned, I was discussing with one stakeholder and the stakeholder said we are no longer doing SKT. I said, what are we doing? And he said, we are doing DKD. And I said, what is DKD? Dismembered lockdown. You bring a vehicle already built in the country because you want to bring it in, you know, dismembering it by removing the bomber, remove the bonnet, and you bring it back to Nigeria 
and fix this thing. Right? And you want us to call you cascade. It is this case, decade. You are doing injustice to the economy of Nigeria. And this is not what we want. This is what we want to correct. No country does that and go. We are talking about the growth of Nigeria economy. Let's work together in order to get this economy good. Most of these vehicles you see here are CNG vehicles. And this is just to allay the fear of Nigeria when it comes to CNG. Uh, what makes CNG vehicle tick is the standard of the kits you use, the component, the quality of the component. And you could see the, the gas, the conversion process, the cylinder, everything are up to international standard and standards specified by SOL. And the process they follow, you can see all these ones were converted by those people that have our assembly license. Those ones that are already licensed by us, which means licensed by Nigeria to carry out this. And you could see the, the, the expertise, you could see how their needs they are, and then they adhere to internal or global standard in, in, in converting this. So again, you could see that a lot of things can be done. We just talk about the cooling van how it can be used not only for what we think they can be used for but they can be used for, to even preserve agro products mm -hmm. so that we'll be able to move those some from production place to consumer so these are part of what we are looking at so last question sir what does the future hold for nigeria when it comes to great great the, the, the full source is great and what we see there that if all of us work together for them, all the things we have discussed, we work on them from the government side, from the stakeholder side, even like credit scheme from the financial institution, from the investor, all of it, and even you are talking because we talk about made in Nigeria goods. And I tell you again, National Assembly passed a resolution about us even putting labor of made in Nigeria on goods produced in Nigeria. Let all of us start patronizing Nigerian goods. Immediately we start doing that, then the future is bright for everyone. Thank you very much. Sir. The summit also featured an exhibition of locally made vehicles and components. Some of these vehicles are CNG battery powered uh, vehicles as well as those powered by gas and other non-fossil fuel products. Right here is one of the CNG powered vehicles that were exhibited at the maiden edition of the Nigerian Auto Industry Summit in Lagos. With the strides made by local manufacturers and all the revelations that were made at the summit, the lessons that were learned and taken away by participants, the Nigerian automotive industry certainly is headed in the right direction and the future is indeed bright. As a driver for the national economy, as well as a hub for manufacturing in West Africa and a key revenue generator for Nigeria, job creation for our youth, the future is indeed bright. That's the size of our show today, the Lagos Transportation Agenda. We'll return at this time next week on this station for yet another interesting discourse on the future and the projections for the Nigerian uh, transportation system. This is Austin Inyan, your host, hoping you join me then as we explore the dynamic world of transportation. Until then, bye-bye and God bless.